Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Exploring Paradise, your guide to Florida's West Coast. I've got something really cool to talk about. There's an island behind me that wants to leave. Stay tuned, I've got more. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Mike Rennick. I am your host for this video. I want to talk about Jewfish Key. It's an island on the north end of Longboat Key. We're going to do a flyover with Google uh, Studio software. We'll show that kind of stuff and I'd like to thank Google up front and give them credit for the information or for the video um, flyover that we're going to include in here. But in the serene and picturesque setting of Jewfish Key, a dialogue has emerged that could reshape the landscape of property ownership and rental possibilities on this charming island. Currently embraced by the governance of Longboat Key, homeowners on Jewfish Key are contemplating a significant change. They're proposing a shift towards integration with unincorporated Manatee County, a move motivated by the desire for more lenient tenant regulations on short-term rentals. We've done a lot of videos about how the rental rules are changing on the islands here. More to follow, but Jewfish Key would like it a little bit different. Under the current jurisdiction, residential properties on this island adhere to zoning regulations that generally necessitate minimum rental periods of a month or more unless designated for tourism. The policy aligns with Longboat Key's commitment to maintaining the residential character and tranquility of its communities. Moreover, Manatee County, known for its absence of short-term rental ordinances, presents an appealing alternative for those seeking flexibility in property leasing. For those that may not remember, Longboat Key is divided by um, into two counties, Sarasota County on the south, up here on the north it's Manatee County and that's what I'm talking about. This discussion was ignited by the Jewfish Key Preservation Collect Collective submitted a petition for de-annexation from Longbow Key. They want to separate. This initiative representing a strategic pivot towards autonomy and regu regulatory ease has sparked a comprehensive feasibility study. This analysis aims to dissect the economic, market, technical, financial and management impacts of such a transition. This ins could ensure that decisions are informed and beneficial for all stakeholders involved. The dialogue around the potential de-annexation, the, the leaving of Longboat Key, <laughs> underscores a broader conservation about community governments, property rights, and the delicate balance between residential scenario and economic vitality. As we observe the unfolding of these discussions, it's clear that the essence of the Jewfish Key's charm and the interests of its residents are at the heart of the debate. I'm bringing you this information to keep you up to date to what's happening on the island. I'll be back as more information becomes available. This is big. You've got a part of Longboat Key that wants to leave. The reason they want to leave is the rental restrictions. And let's see what happens here. Um, the key in my mind, I'll give you my opinion, is finding a solution where everyone wins. I don't know what that might be, but more to follow. So I want to thank you for watching. If I could be of any help, my name is Mike Rennick. My personal, my direct cell is 941-400-8735. Until next time, thanks for watching.